Hello guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do cut grill. It's so simple and easy. It's just like lots of different ways. How to get it on good. Turn my oh, let go of it. So just to let you know, I'm going to be teaching you how to handle it. Also, if you want a big one like this, like sit same size as my hands when I'm doing that then you'd need to have a lot of strength if you want like a tiny one, one but like big enough to do with your hands all you need is um, a tiny bit of string but mine's like got tangled up in it what I was going to show you oh well I am going to show you anyway so I've untangled it now uh, so that it's a tiny pink one, you can make something like that big, which I'm going to be making with string today, obviously, because that's what you make it with. I've got pink string also. I need to save some string because I do sewing also, so that's my fun part. So all you need to do is, um, I'm going to teach you how to do it first, then I'll teach you how to make it. So basically what you'll do is you'll just go like this, so. So you'll have it like this on your hands, in between your thumbs. You'll wrap it once around your hand. For you who already know how to do this, but don't know how to make it, if you've bought it from a store and you want to make it yourself, you'll need string to follow this tutorial. So you'll just um, wrap it around your hands. You'll get your middle finger and push your middle finger up. And push your second middle finger up. So then you'll have this. This is where another person has to come in and do it. So basically, I'll just um, yeah, sausage, chips, and beans. So you'll just grab this. In fact, I'm gonna go teach you how to make it first because I've made like five already. These are all for me. So sausage, chips, and beans. Please. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the string off like you usually would do. So you'd probably, I'm going to make mine red because I want mine to be red. I thought about this tutorial because my school loves making these like things and I was like, what are you making? And like, there was like, don't you know, it's cat's cradle. So I've got like really, really like, attached to it. It's like a really, really nice thing to do if you um, have like a really, really good friend or something to do it with. Uh, you can just do it with yourself because I will teach you also how to make the Eiffel Tower in one of my next tutorials how to do it. I'm not going to do this one really really big so I think you should do it like about this big because you're going to also fold it in a half also so I think about how long you're going to have it because if you're going to have it huge you won't be able to fit your hands in it so I think you just have to think about that a bit so I'm just going to put mine over there while I wrap this around my thing. Next what you do is you just get your string, tie it a knot, if you don't know how to tie a knot, get your parents to help you about doing this, so I'm just going to tie mine in a knot, that you might want to tie yours into a tighter knot, I've only tied mine twice, you can tie yours longer, so I just go like this to test if yours is a really really strong, like yours is a strong material, so that's how you make it guys um thank you for watching today oh my god mine isn't that strong actually oh my god the knots come under my mm -hmm. so i have to try it a bit tighter then speak for myself <laughs> oh, my dog So uh, I don't um I don't have any partner to do it with, so it's gonna be pretty tricky for me to do it. 
So I'm going to grab onto the middle, like where my finger is. Then pull it, and I've just like pulled it weirdly. So I'm going to make the Eiffel. Well, I'm going to try to make the Eiffel Tower. I don't actually know how to make the Eiffel Tower. I've never tried before, so. No. Okay, so I think. Nope, not like this. You definitely do grab something that I'm going to like, look at a tutorial on my phone now how to do the Eiffel Tower with Carl's Cradle. So, check my password. My password is literally like so long. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to go on Google. I'm not going to go on YouTube because um, I just don't want to because so how to do cats cats cradle. oh my god you could do normal cats cradle you can do cats cradle solo cats cradle which is brew how do you cats cradle one person and you can do the yo-yo cats cradle cats cradle eiffel eiffel tower Okay, so I've gone on like this. God, man, I know how to do this part. Come on. Alright, this is so easy. Okay, so I'm going to look at a video how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so let's learn how to do the Eiffel Tower one person. Alright, so let's go. That looks like it's underwater. Wow. Okay, so let's Alright, so let's go on a different video. Okay. And now you do this because my friend is at school. Oh my god, I can't get my right position. I seriously really, really don't know how to do this, but like, I'm gonna try my hardest. I don't even know. So now I'm going to teach you cradle, cat's cradle tricks. My phone. Oh my god. So, so as you can see, this is on my hands, isn't it? My thumbs. So what you do is you just wrap it around your thumbs. Three, two, one. It's easy. So basically all the trick, um, the answer to this is basically all you need to do is go three, two, one, and go just go bam, and then just off you your hands. Okay. Next trick. So basically what you need to do is you need to put it on your thing, wrap it up. So basically how you're doing your normal cat's cradle, you wrap your fingers underneath, 
that goes into a string. This is so fun to do this. I remember all these tricks because it's just really, really fun. So in, out, pull. <laughs> so easy. No, no, no. Okay, so wait, wait. So basically, the trick to this is basically all you need to do three is pull this one out, and if you've got oh, got your normal string. I've got. I'm gonna go see if my mom can do it one more time. So guys, these are all the ones that I've made. I have made pretty big ones right now, so it's actually really, really easy to make a cat cradle how you really want it. So I'm just gonna ooh, and put it on the side. So the first one that I want to show you is the big red one. The big red one is pretty interesting. I like making big things like this. I am used to having big things like my birthday and stuff that I really really like bigger things I've actually got into a tangle um my all of them so I'm just trying to get the red one out of this big tangle so I'm going to show you guys it I'm really good at undoing knots and stuff but like it proves like I am actually really really not good at knots and doing the knots so it's actually pretty annoying that I can't even do open a tiny little knot. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold this. I'm now done. I don't even know how that worked. Okay, so this is my big one. So, oh my god, there was a tiny one in there as well. So basically, this can stretch. So, this is my front refrigerator. Um, to the other side of my room. I don't know if you can see this. It's very like thin. So that's my far first one. Oh god. Okay, so this is my second one. This is a pink one which I made recently just in this video. So that was really really fun to do this. But it's just upsetting that I didn't have no one to do it with, so my tricky. So yeah. Okay. So that's my pink one. Next is also a tiny one. It's not actually a really, really good to play with so considering you'd need a big one for your cat's cradle. This is actually pretty tight and tight compact and like all my other ones aren't tight. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the other towel after this video. Then I can come back and show you how to do it and do a tutorial on it. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Next is a pink one, which is actually bigger than the last one that I just did, my pink one. It's actually pretty longer than it, um, so in size compar comparison, this one's actually pretty much better because this one's perfect size for my hands, so... Oh, my hands there. I love actually just playing with how my cats grow. That's my mum child, I remember because it's the other one bringing it. These are all my cat's cradles. I really, really enjoyed doing this video with you guys. 30 minutes and 40 seconds is pretty good for my time, which I've recently done. I usually do like 15 minute videos. I'm cutting my video time down. I only video once a week, guys. I'm so sorry. It's weekend now anyway, so I'll be vlogging all week. Usually through the week I would do like normal videos like I'd go around in the garden and show you around my garden or show you around my house or show you what my family's doing or something like that but on a weekend it's so different. On a weekend I've got free time to do stuff with you guys and like have loads of fun so it's like really really good and yeah. Hopefully you like and subscribe to the, my channel and also I'm going through the process of making a new channel guys so if you want to look up this, I'll look at when I do my next channel, I'll put this channel down below in the descriptions down below. So yeah, peace out people. Bye.